Hello and welcome to Era B and B, the series where I go around Ireland trying to find Ireland's most unique accommodation. My name is Claire and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This time we are in Galway. We are in a place called Cahar Castle and we've just spent the night in the castle. Cahar Castle is located in Crockwell, County Galway, about a five minute drive from the village. Peter, the owner, likes to chat to guests on Airbnb before they book the castle. When we were chatting to him, we mentioned we had a small dog and he said we could bring her along. Millie's really excited about staying at the castle. She's not, she's seeing the cat. <laughs> While the listing is not officially listed as dog friendly, Peter will sometimes allow small, well-behaved dogs to stay if you could promise they won't eat the furniture. I'm so excited Millie could be here. We arrived in the early evening in December, so it was already getting dark outside. Peter met us and showed us around the castle. Oh, there he is, there's Peter. <laughs> there's a world map on the wall when you come in the front door of Cahar Castle. You grab a pin. Okay. Visitors leave a pin showing where they've come from. Now this map has only been in use since around 2016. The castle has been accepting visitors since 2013, so the map would look very different had it been done from the very start. Now you can see that since 2016, Peter has had loads of American visitors and loads of Irish visitors. So he's in luck, <laughs> my two audiences. Peter has clearly had a lot of fun restoring Carr Castle. It has a lot of gorgeous Irish pieces and decorations in keeping with the castle theme and a few quirky bits thrown in for a bit of personality and fun. Lots of gorgeous hand-drawn paintings everywhere. Lots of old books and some Irish humour. Everything is functional, from the hideaway kitchen to the modern toilet system decorated with a cut stone throne that Peter cut himself. It's gorgeous. Even though it has been restored like a real castle, it has all the modern trappings you need for comfort, including lights, electricity, Wi-Fi and even an electric blanket to keep you warm throughout the night. And the door in front of you, Claire. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Unbelievable. Heat in the castle comes from two fires, one in the sitting room, which Peter lights for you, and one in the bedroom. Fire logs and kindling are provided, and guests are asked to bring their own briquettes. Peter got the fire going for us in the sitting room, and we settled in for the night. We ordered food from the pub in the village and collected it to eat back in the castle. Nice. Lovely. We had a few drinks and went to play a game of pool in the downstairs games room. We're out, we're going to bring money to the bathroom. Um, I don't know if you care that in there, but the guy that lives in the castle is doing like a live stream for the Roisin Dove in Galway and he's a really good singer. We stopped in the pool because I was worried the noise of the pool was going to interrupt his live stream so we'll finish our game of pool afterwards. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to listen to him play, he's class. Turn around there Alex now and see, can you see the light from the castle? At night, the castle is lit up with this little light machine which is absolutely beautiful. After letting Millie out to the bathroom, we went to bed. Peter asks that dogs not sleep in the bed. Sorry, honey, you can't get up. So Millie slept in front of the crackling fire while we slept in the toasty bed with the electric blanket. So here's a fire. Alex lit. Thank you, Alex. There's Millie in her bed. And then Alex is in that bed. Then we also like, have another bed up there that you can't really see right now. So yeah, I think it's time for bed. In the morning, we got up to explore the castle. Good morning. Good morning. And we met Brad, the musician that lives in the castle, and he sang one of his original songs for us, which is not yet released. I get a little scared when I'm bored in the train again Cause that's around the last time you left If I could have my way, I'd let you breathe my oxygen just Let me go slow with every breath I'll put Brad's Spotify link down in the description. There was one thing that Peter asked that I not spoil in this video. So be aware, when you arrive, there is one surprise that I haven't revealed. 
You'll need to go stay there to find out. I'm falling deeper in love with a blue-eyed lady like you. There's a couple of things we want to do this morning before we leave. One of them is we want to go up to the roof um, and there is a Cahar stone up there. It's Cahar's version of the Blarney stone. My jacket's downstairs, I couldn't be bothered going down to get it, so I'm going to wear this cape. Did you bang your head up here yet? No? Not yet. Jesus, if you stick around long enough, you will look, you know, it's terrible. <laughs> I'm just going to check out the Cahar stone. We've been told you used to be able to kiss it, but now you have to slap it to make the magic twerk, so I have a fair idea I know what this looks like. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I did think it was going to be a much smaller arse, but I knew that it was going to be an arse. It's a crap slap. Okay, do you want to go down? After you. I can't remember how you did this. He said left first, didn't he? Left foot first. There's loads of stories attached to this castle and the owner was telling us all the stories yesterday. We got to see photographs of him building the castle pretty much from scratch. He basically bought like a shell of a castle back in the day and it is now this gorgeous restored castle that you can stay in for the night. So the owner allows you to inscribe your name on any stone that he's cut. So he also provides a stethoscope there and any customer that comes and stays here that can crack that safe can have their stay for free. We did not manage to crack the code, did we, Alex? No. We're in the bedroom now. The bedroom is the top floor. You have the roof, the bedroom, and the sitting room exclusively. There's a lot of stairs then to get out. <laughs> Be careful. Part of the charm about Cahar Castle is actually the owner. His name is Peter. And he has amazing stories from over the years of building the castle from scratch. Growing up in the castle with two kids, grew up in the castle. Um, so yeah, when you come to visit Cara Castle, let Peter tell you a few stories, they're brilliant. I should add that the stay in Cara Castle was gifted to us. I reached out to Peter on Airbnb and explained to him the story about Airbnb. He was very happy to let us come and stay, invited us um, and gave us the stay for free. So the experience was hashtag gifted. Um, this is not a sponsored video, but we did reach out to Peter and get a free stay. Ooh, I'm falling deeper in love with a blue-eyed lady like you. And you lit up the night like a couple thousand lights in the room. And it's true. You know that I wish I'd have met someone Half the woman, now I feel it Now I feel it Now I feel it Hi, my name is Brad Heidi. Um, that song is called Half the Woman and uh, it's an original song I wrote and it hasn't been released yet, so that's the first, first version of it you've heard. Yeah, thanks. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Please check out the playlist with the other era B and B episodes. So far, it's a very new series, so I'd really appreciate if you gave this video a like, and maybe even a share. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Slan slan. You know that I wish I'd have met someone half the woman now I feel it. Now I feel it.